Now we are going to cover the goods issue and the goods receipt of a purchase order. So since we have been discussing about stock transport order, first the goods issue needs to be done from the supplying plant and then it needs to be done to the to the receiving plant. So here is the first thing, this transaction code is important. There used to be a transaction MB01 that has gone away from in S4 HANA, so I would personally recommend all the receiving people who's doing goods issue, goods receipt, or whatever. You need to use MIGO. Okay, so MIGO is the transaction code that is being used. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you select goods issue, purchase order, and then you put the purchase order number. Okay, so the purchase order number that we want to do goods issue is this one. So if you see, there's 13 quantities. Okay, now here I can put the 13 quantities and and do I need to do unloading plant? And I'll just select item okay and and I'll just select stock transfer item okay and I'll just select save. So once I do the post, okay, I need to give the storage location. Okay, so let's see the storage location. That is the storage location in this case is here okay so here i'll select the storage location so let's say i'll just put finished goods let's see and i'll post so once i post it if you see this is the material document that got that got created okay now let's go to the PO that let's see whether it has reflected okay so here is the PO that I created, 33. And if you notice, if I go to the item details, and there is a purchase order history that got selected, and this is the movement type. So if you notice, if I click on this material document, it will take me to the document that has got created. This is goods issue that we just created. Okay, now I can do the goods receipt of this. So the goods at this point, the goods has been issued from the originating plant and now i'm going to do a goods receipt so the first thing again what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to migo okay so i'm receiving receiving the goods from plant a to plant b so now i'm going to do goods receipt okay once i do the goods receipt and if i see if you see i'm putting the purchase order number and here suppose i want to do suppose i want to do i want to receive less okay so i'll receive six suppose, okay instead okay and i'll put item okay and probably i need to give a storage location okay the storage location is finished goods and we'll try post okay so if you see now i have so here if you notice the number range is different and I did a partial receipt so I didn't do the full goods receipt so before I received 13 and here I have received only six so let's see the purchase order it should needs to be getting reflected here so if you notice if I'm going to the item details voila so here it's it so if you notice this is, so these are uh, these are different movement type so you see here i did a six quantity of goods receipt to my receiving plant plant b and so so this covers everything about goods receipt goods receipt is an important thing especially for stock transport order and most of the POs ideally should have a three way match and there goods receipt comes now that can be three cases where you have a framework PO which is a blanket order and uh, like sometimes you have services service entry sheet creates also goods receipt so that's another different thing so this covers everything about goods receipt now again uh, we can also cover the place where we are going to reverse the goods receipt so let's cover that portion also so i'm doing goods receipt and i'll do a material document okay and i can put this material document and i'll do execute let's see doesn't recommend so let's see i think i can do a release remove from return delivery okay let's see this is 
return release yeah let's do return delivery so let's do this and here if you see suppose i i did a goods receipt and i didn't like the goods so what i can do i just change the material document and if you notice here's the quantity so i didn't like it i want to post i want to return it back so you so here i have to flag it okay because i am returning back so suppose i needed 13 i got six now i have figured out okay i only need three so let me return it back so if i notice here again i did a reverse goods receipt okay so that's like the goods return so once you see now if i go to the item details the, the, this one is 102 and if you see there's a minus three so next time if I want to do a goods receipt, let's see how much I can do a goods receipt now. So I did the return delivery. Now, ideally, I should be having nine. So let's see whether it's correct or not. So if I see, if I do, so quantity is handsy. So uh, I, ideally, we should have 10. And that's it. So 13 minus 3. Okay, that's 10. So that's why I can do... 13 goods receipt so this this covers the goods receipt portion so what we did is we did a goods issue from the originating plant we received it partially received in the receiving plant and then i did a reverse goods receipt where i want instead of using six i want to use only three and the rest i'm giving to plant a so it became 10 in plant a so this is every, this is related with goods receipt that's awesome.